السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته هنبدأ مع بعض النهاردة أول دروس الجيومتري second term for third preparatory uh, today we will talk about the circle the circle is a set of points of a plane which are at constant distance from a fixed point this fixed point is called the center as you see here this point is called the center all point of the circle are in equidistance from this center we must know some figures inside the circle like the radius that the line segment drawn inside the circle join between the center point and any point on the circle and also the diameter diameter a b this is a line segment drawn inside the circle joined between two points in the circle and passing through the center point and also another one the chord the chord is a line segment drawn inside the circle joined between two points on a circle and not passing through the center point all of them we need inside our The circle is a symmetric figure because we can draw a straight line that divides the circle into two congruent coincident figures. Then the symmetry of the circle is a straight line that passing through the center of the circle. It's called the axis of symmetry. For example, we have here a circle, its name circle M, and when we draw a straight line that passing through the center of this circle it called the axis of symmetry of this circle the question here how many axis of symmetry for a circle we can draw infinite number of straight line all of them passing through the center point as you see here all of them is called axis of symmetry then the number of axis of symmetry for any circle is infinite number the circle is like any geometric figure, have an perimeter and also area. But the perimeter of circle is called circumference of the circle. And it comes from this rule, the circumference of circle equal 2 by r. And also have area, where the area of a circle equal by r power 2. Clarity number 1. The straight line passing through the center of a circle and the midpoint of any chord of it is perpendicular to this chord. Look at this figure. We have here a straight line called L. This straight line is passing through the center point and also bisect the chord AB. Then it will be perpendicular for AB like this then any straight line passing through the center point of a circle and bisect a chord inside it is also perpendicular to this chord from the mid point clearly number two the straight line passing through the center point of a circle and perpendicular now it perpendicular the other one is bisect and perpendicular to any chord of it bisect this chord Look at the figure. We have here a straight line L. This straight line is passing through the center point and also perpendicular to the line segment like this. Then the point in which this straight line perpendicular to the, uh, the chord is the midpoint of line segment AB or line sig uh, or chord AB. Then any straight line passing through the center point of a circle and the perpendicular to a chord inside it is also bisect this chord. Clarity number three. The perpendicular bisector of any chord of a circle pass through the center of the circle. It means what? It means if we draw a straight line like this, this straight line is perpendicular and bisect a chord inside the circle then it passing through 
the center point it means the center point belongs to this straight line as you show in this figure now we note that any axis of symmetry of a chord inside the circle is also axis of symmetry of the circle itself and axis of symmetry for the chord this means the axis of symmetry of any chord of a circle pass through its center so this axis is an axis of symmetry of the circle. Thanks.